Practicing self-care improves self-esteem and decreases stress. Self-care means caring for oneself, which may seem obvious, but many of my clients never learn self-care, which is why they come in for therapy even though they don't usually identify poor self-care as their issue. Self-care is usually learned in childhood, but if not, then it must be learned as an adult. Children learn self-care through observation and interactions with their caretakers. Caretakers with good self-care skills model such behaviors to children. Caretakers with poor self-care skills model those behaviors as well. In addition, the way caretakers interact with children acts as a mirror telling the children who they are. If treated with love, respect, protection, and nurturance, children are most likely learn that they're worthy of love and respect, which then foster self-love, self-respect, and self-care. However, if treated with abuse or neglect, children may come to believe they're unworthy of love and respect, and therefore undeserving of self-care. Thus, if you are subjected to abuse or neglect as a child, you may never have learned self-care, so you'll have to learn these skills now, which can be achieved through counseling, by identifying and observing good role models, through attending support groups such as Al-Anon or Codependence Anonymous, and by reading self-help books, particularly ones about recovery from codependency. Self-care includes caring for one's physical, emotional, spiritual, and relationship needs. So let's talk about each one. Physical self-care involves eating properly, getting enough sleep, obtaining adequate shelter, maintaining proper hydration, getting enough exercise, exhibiting good grooming, seeking, med seeking medical help as necessary, protecting your body from abusive or dangerous situations and toxic substances, knowing how to relax, wearing adequate clothing, and enjoying non-abusive consensual physical touch. Emotional self-care involves honoring your feelings and needs, being able to grieve losses, developing a loving and nurturing relationship with your inner child, creating a healthy support system, avoiding abusive or manipulative persons, knowing your limits, living mindfully in the present, and practicing good stress management. Spiritual self-care involves finding meaning and purpose in your life and establishing a growing connection to things greater than yourself, such as friends and family, your community, mankind, Mother Earth, the cosmos, or a higher power. Relationship self-care involves advocating for yourself as you negotiate relationships by being able to ask for what you want and say no to what you don't want. To summarize, Self-care means honoring and respecting the miraculous being that you are by listening with the ear of a dedicated mother to your feelings and needs so you can create an environment that nurtures your physical, emotional, spiritual, and relationship selves. Self-care is not selfish, but rather understands that I cannot truly love another without loving myself first. Self-care improves your relationships because by respecting your own needs and feelings, you'll naturally give that same respect to others. Self-care decreases depression, anxiety, anger, and stress and improves self-esteem. So here are some red flags that would indicate you need to improve your self-care skills. You abuse substances. You are involved in abusive relationships. You miss medical appointments or avoid them altogether. You allow people to use and manipulate you. Your personal hygiene is poor. You feel alienated, alone, or empty. You have a poor diet. Your life fills without purpose or meaning. You act self-destructively. You feel stressed much of the time. You don't know how to relax. You frequently beat up on yourself. You are chronically angry, depressed, or anxious. If you identified with any of these red flags, then you have work to do. But first, here's a secret. We all have work to do. Improving self-care never ends because it's a lifelong journey, not a destination. The important thing is to get on the path to self-care, beginning with, with exactly where you are right now, and then begin taking small steps toward improved self-care that become giant leaps forward over time. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. And if you want to hear more from me, 
then subscribe to my channel, Counselor Carl. I will be publishing a new video every other weekend. And if you'd like help in learning to improve self-care, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about me and the services I provide. Until next time, and keep paying attention to your life.